Do you like to spend time outdoors? Are you interested in items that will help you make your job easier? Well, in today's video, I will be sharing my top favorite tools, items that help my outdoor space stay beautiful. I'd like to thank today's sponsor of this video, Giraffe Tools. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Yvonne from Ginger Chick Rehab. I am so glad to have you back checking out what Chris and I are up to. So in today's video, we are sharing a, another outdoor series, but this series is a little bit different because we're just maintaining now, maybe planning a few things here and there. But in today's video, I am sharing with you my top five favorite outdoor products that make our outdoor space more enjoyable, less work. in the morning when Chris leaves for work to water the lawn for a half hour one side a half hour another side we live in Michigan we're blessed to be able to water the lawn but we have really rusty water so a half hour seems to be perfect it's not over mineraling <laughs> my garden area so I'm just getting ready to turn it off because my little my little friends it's hard to see um, I don't feed them until after I water so I don't get their food all wet. So they've started coming in and chirping at me that they would like me to feed them, fill up their bird feeders. So this is our utility room where I keep our bird seed. Um, so just need to put a cup, get some bird seed out. Now I do two different bird seeds, one with shells, one without shells to attract a lot of different birds. And then we give it to this one. And it looks like I need to open up a new suet. So I'm super excited in this video, we'll be getting rid of this, oh my goodness, <laughs> the, the pulling of the hose, the leaking of the hose um, that causes rust. So I've got all these beautiful flowers, oh, I'm, and I'll share with y'all. Um, yeah, I love my flowers and how I get all these beautiful blooms. If you have not seen one of our outdoor videos. I was I would get out here before it got really sunny, but I did not make it. So this is the river. And so I have a, um, we have a remote control that is hooked up to a outlet. So I'll share with you that. So what this does is I can turn this on and I usually, this is usually in our house. So I'll turn this on. And so that, so then that turns that on. And so the birds can cycle the water. And sometimes overnight, the other animals have drink from this little pond that I need to fix some rocks. <laughs> it happens. But once it starts running on the rocks, it evaporates. So I'll have to fill it up 
But yes, the birds do chirp on that. So yeah, see how beautiful. Oh, I love my, I am a flower person. How about you all watching? So yep, you're gonna see my shadow. Um, I can share with you my hummingbird mix if you want. And we're still feed, feeding Orioles. We still have Oreo birds. So yes, we got a little butterfly checking out. He's blending with my flowers, but behind here is, it's hard to see, but it's a box and that's where all our plugs are. Um, so it's water protected because it's the corner and we have a walkout basement, but there's a plug underneath there that the remote control controls because it'll turn on our lights for us and also turn on our little, what we call our little river, which it's hard to see in the sun this morning, but. Once the river makes its way all the way down, then as you see, it's starting to drain the pond down. So I'll need to fill it up with water. So, so yep, we just have to fill this back up. And once a week we do put algaecide on here. We usually do that, that's a Sunday thing. This is not a Sunday. Hey, this is, when I'm filming this, this is a Thursday, so part of the route, you know, you have to stay in a routine so you can remember if you did it or not. So, yeah. So, yep, yeah, just fill that back up so the birds in the hot weather can take a little bath. So, I, we do not mind running this at all because I just, we enjoy watching them. Definitely enjoy watching them. So, everything's nice and green. And we only water this back area where we sit in our little sanctuary of our outdoor area. So you just have to pick your battles of, yeah, I don't want to spend all that time watering the rest of the lawn. This is enough. This is a enough. So I actually picked out the same plants that I have in this area. These plants used to be beside our pool area. So I know that they will do well underneath that tree. Um, they're beautiful right now. Oh my goodness. So they just got their morning drink, so they look all beautiful. So here those are, and then my random sunflowers yet again from the chipmunks. <laughs> so yes, anyway. This is the area that I didn't realize doesn't have any color this time of year. So I need to come out here. Um, I've got poppies that need to be taken down, cut down, they are done. I usually cut their little heads off and put them where the plant is so they regenerate. Um, and I had moved all my hostas that I owned on our property into this garden, so I've got plenty of hostas. <laughs> Usually the deer ate them off, so I didn't even know I had beautiful hostas this much. But the sunflowers, the seeds, either they ate them or they did not take off. Even the morning glories not doing wonderful that Chris planted down here. Um, I need to empty every morning. I'll empty this bird feeder or the bird bath that I painted because I do see the bigger birds. The robins definitely love this bird bath. But the only one that is surviving is this little sunflower here. And I can't even tell you, I think I planted that one or the chipmunks did. But yes, I'm going to bring in some color in this space here. First, we'll get this emptied. Here you want to empty water out daily if you can. And water this area, water the plants because of mosquitoes. We have lots of mosquitoes. So now that that's full. So perfect. So y'all hate, I hate pulling a hose. Oh, and then pulling it back. Turning it off, trying to wrap it, <laughs> and see, and then it buckles, oh my gosh, see, I can never get it to look pretty hanging there, oh, it's a thick hose, I don't know, <sighs> see, it just never looks 
Got all these beautiful garden area, and then I got this hose. Oh my gosh. First thing before planting the new plants, I'm going to go ahead and trim off the poppies that are done. I like to do this before their heads completely dry out because then it'll just throw seeds all over the place. That way I can place that seed into that plant area where the root is that it regenerates and helps grow a new plant for next year. have good luck just going to the Home Depot to buy plants. So these are a type of lily, day lily, but these are the bulb type. So some of them are still going to be blooming. Some of them are on the tail end, but that is okay. My vision is for what the plant is going to be from years to come. So I'm going to go ahead, since I've already mulched this area, move the mulch out of the way, dig a new hole, and get these planted. start this off with my five favorites but there are a couple little bonuses in here including a miracle grow plant food and yep just epsom salt if you want beautiful blooms like me and you have the time once a week to feed your plants oh my goodness that is what your plants will look like so just one scoop of the miracle grow one scoop of epsom salt and it will just make a happy little plant. So I want to say this is a gallon <laughs> bucket. I don't know. It's just a random bucket that I've used. Um, just fill it up, up all the way up. And yes, and then I feed my plants. So usually the best time to water plants, if you can, is early in the morning or late in the evening. That really gives that plant energy and I like to water until it is leaking from the bottom that way I know that all that dry soil has been saturated with liquid another thing that I do do daily is I snip off any of the deads not just the bud itself but the green around there that way the plant is not trying to energize something that has died off and done its time absolutely love my baskets you can pull them down to water oh my goodness just absolutely love it yep you pull it down and then i just have some cup of water that i can water it with and then i just always wait for them to start draining out of the bottom and then i know i have it good and moist And then literally, you can do this one-handed. You can lift it up, and then it connects. Literally, just did that one-handed. See, then it drains out of. Now, this is the one that we had a nest in. <laughs> we already had a little birdie's nest in. And I'm not going to pull it down now, because this one I already watered. And all the birds are gone from this one. We had five, four little babies. And then I water these every other day. So then we have, and then the other day, two days ago, I noticed we had a new nest and I did not know they still laid eggs this time of season. So two days ago was a nest and now today there's the egg. I wonder if they'll have more. So crazy, I did not know. It's nice because the nest is up high and I can still water down low so they're not killing my plant by any means but definitely gives our cat something to stare out at the window. Now if you have been following around with our garden series you know that 
We just got a fence put up last year. It's a it's a dream, a blessing. I can't even explain to you, but this zebra grass is the last plant that we needed to move from our back fence line. And what Chris did was he separated it into five piles to help a little bit with the erosion going down the hill. My next favorite product is this oh a pumpless battery operated sprayer it just helps so i can do weed killer around the edges of our gardens underneath the fence you could have one for um, pest control too if need be but oh this is heavenly not to have to pump how many of you remember this beautiful yard sale find for ten dollars this ginormous metal butterfly now i want to save that beautiful rusty crusty patina once you really get closer to it you can kind of see how they were able to make a color variance on it now i absolutely love this weather defense spray that we used on those other yard sale finds of those wind metal wind chimes so yes i'm going to go ahead and spray the back and the front because i want to put this on my rocks and you've seen it here and there in the pictures of today's video but i don't want the rust to leak and make a rusty mess on my rocks so i will admit it did take a whole can to do two coats on both sides but for ten dollars it was well worth it Yes, the butterfly fits perfect in this spot where we have some smaller rocks. And look at this God wink moment my father-in-law and mother-in-law, my in-laws, <laughs> gave me an early birthday present. And little did they know, the same day they had given me that was the same day I had thrifted and picked up this butterfly. Little did they know that they had pre-ordered that. And look how the two go together beautifully. So perfect timing, <laughs> we need lots of water here in Michigan. We're coming into where we don't have a lot of rain. So we need an upgrade on our hose. Oh my goodness, perfect timing to team up with Draft Tools and do a review along with all the other wonderful products that make our outdoor area beautiful and make it super easy on us to maintain. This product, I can't wait to give it a try. So let's see what she looks like. So we'll find out how easy it is to install. Hopefully it can fit in the same area we already have. That's yours. <laughs> we are, yeah, you know we ain't gonna read that instructions <laughs> until they actually need them. But yeah, so hopefully it can fit in the same area. Oh, look at that, it even comes with, I wasn't sure if it came with a nozzle or not, but I guess it does show it on the box. So yes, look at that. Super excited to have it all contained and wind back up. We have these type of winders in our shop for our electrical cords and our air compressor. And so we know how just, it's a nice thing to have. I never thought that you could have one for your watering hose. So yeah, let's see if it's going to fit in the space where we already had just a plain old Aldi's hook that I spray painted every year to make it look pretty. So let's see if this fits in that place. So this is the connector from your spigot to the hose itself. Well, you kind of need that part or you're gonna have leakage. <laughs> so definitely packaged well. Yeah, do not think that this is an extra part, y'all. You need that, that is your washer that stops it from leaking. Well, the other thing to note too on here is these are both uh, female adapters. So you'd have to have this kind of hose to do the connection. It's not a male to female. It's a female to female? Yes, yes. Okay, good to know. Okay, bye-bye, just hook <laughs> that. Yeah, we've changed this hook out a couple times. So of course there's gonna be holes in our sidings. You can see where I've changed it out once before, had to fill it up. So always trying to make it bigger, better, best, whatever you say on the hose reel. 
we will need to fill those holes with some kind of caulk because we get lots of bees, wasps, hornets, everything. And once you have a little hole, they think it is their nest. So very important to fill those holes up. And then also it's good to state that you don't want water getting underneath your siding when it rains. So yeah, even though we're coming into our season, we don't get a ton of rain, even though they are scheduled for storms tonight. Not good storms, but. So this is the mount and it's already attached when it comes to the hose reel. So you just need to loosen up the screw to slip it off. And this is the piece that's going to go onto the house. Some very good hardware to hang it with. That is good though. set screw. Yep. Now Just it's, tightened up that set screw. Now so it's now it's set. Now it's on there. Not to the back of the shed though. Yes, we do have water all the way up to the back of the shed also. Oh, the water. Yep. Got to make sure everything is nice and tight. I think our little two-way connector is leaking right now, so we might have to get a new one of those, but it's always something. Uh, let it fill up. It's retractable. Let's see. Oh, and it guides so it's not going to knot up on you. Take it out into the yard. A little air. Yeah, a little air on the line. Okay. So the one thing I did change, I did change my birdhouse with the plant because you see it was um, hitting that, but that's not any big deal for the convenience of not having to struggle with the hose. Oh my gosh, and just walking it in. Oh. Did I mention it's 130 feet of hose? Oh, wow. I can go all the way around my whole fenced-in area and water everything that I need to. With the ease of the thumb control, I can turn my pressure up. I can turn it down like when I'm filling up this bird bath so it doesn't just spray all over me.
So I hope that you enjoyed today's video and it is hot and humid here in Michigan and I'm like I'm going to enjoy my space even we are blessed to have just had rain so it's nice and sticky out here and I think my hair is getting curlier by the minute. But yes those were my top five favorite with a couple little extra here and there that make things just easier and these are not just something I went out and got all at one time they're accumulation of years of products that I'm like yeah I never get rid of them they don't break they work wonderful how easy are these tools and I felt the need to share them with you yeah giraffe tools is new to the game of helping us with our outdoor space but I already know that I am going to love it not having to lug around a hose oh Thank you, prayers answered. So anyway, everything will be linked down if interested, below. Interested? Go check them out, and I will link all my other favorites down I hope below. That you've enjoyed our outdoor series because I sure have loved being outdoors, sharing my love of gardening and my love of the outdoor space with you all. So give me a quick comment down below. Which one of the five were your favorite? Are you interested in any of them? What do you think of our gardens? Yeah, I know I bought a few more flowers. I got some more bird eggs. Oh, you know, <laughs> I, I just, I absolutely love it. So again, thanks for watching today's video, guys. And as always, if you're part of our YouTube family, thank you so much. And if you're new and you're checking out this content for the first time and you liked what you saw, please hit that subscription button along with the notification bell so you know we've uploaded a new video. And we will see you next time, guys, and you can see what we're up to. Bye. <laughs>